Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Literary Destinations, where we travel to some of the places and historical landmarks associated with the great American writer and social activist, Harriet Beecher Stowe. Let me share my screen with you so I can show you some pictures. One more moment. The Mercer County Library System has a rich collection of books authored by Harriet Beecher Stowe, who published more than 30 books in her lifetime. Without a doubt, her most famous piece of writing was Uncle Tom's Cabin, published in 1852. The novel was a story of the pain and suffering slavery imposed on its victims and of the arduous journey of those who attempted to escape through the Underground Railroad to the Northern States or to Canada. It shook the entire nation and the world by drawing their attention to the injustice of slavery and the urgency of abolition. Harriet Beecher was born in Litchfield, Connecticut in June 1811, the sixth of 11 children. Her father was a dedicated Calvinist preacher. The young Harriet attended the Hartford Female Seminary run by her elder sister, Catherine. Here she received an education centered around classics, languages, and mathematics. In 1832, at the age of 21, Harriet Beecher moved to Cincinnati, Ohio to join her father, who had become the president of the Lane Theological Seminary. Today, the Harriet Beecher Stowe House on Walnut Hills, where they lived, houses a museum that celebrates the life of Harriet Beecher Stowe, her family, and their legacy. Two centuries ago, the house had become the epicenter of the national conversation on abolition, and it was here that the plan to abolish slavery was first born. The museum also presents fascinating information about the Underground Railroad and African-American history. Collections at the house include some primary source materials and an original 1852 London edition of Uncle Tom's Cabin. On display are also original furnishings and items of the period, such as the desk of Stowe's father, and the public can participate in special events, including lectures, book readings, and various children's activities. Harriet Beecher lived here till her marriage in 1836 to Calvin Stowe. After living in Cincinnati for 20 years, Harriet Beecher Stowe moved to the East Coast with her husband, Calvin Stowe. This is the house they rented at 63 Federal Street in Brunswick, Maine, where Calvin Stowe taught theology at the Bowdoin College. The house has been taken over by Bowdoin College and honors the literary legacy of this great author. Inside is the Harriet Beecher Stowe writing room, where one can browse through documents depicting her life in the mid 19th century. It was here that she penned her book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. The book was based on her encounters and conversations with former slaves escaping the Underground Railroad during her time in Ohio, and it captured the attention of the entire nation. The Stowe's moved to Hartford, Connecticut into this house in 1873. The house was built in the Gothic Revival style with large bay windows and porches. It is now a museum open to the public. Inside, you'll find simple tables, chairs, and other furnishings that remain much as they were during Stowe's lifetime. Harriet continued to write and she published 30 books before her death in 1896, 
at the age of 85. She is buried in the historic cemetery at Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts, alongside her husband. I do hope you enjoyed this short trip into the past. Till next time, this is Nita Mather signing off from the Mesa County Library System.